see you. Today we have the Ipsy Glam Bag for December. I'm kind of excited about this one. I wonder if um, it might be a little different because it's around Christmas time. Maybe not. Doesn't really feel like there's any more in here than normal. Oh, so we have it in this nice, pretty pink bubble mailer. I love these. They always come in these pink bubble mailers. So we're going to turn it this way, and we're going to see what's in here. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness, it matches my nails. <laughs> oh, that's, wow, look at that. Oh, that is spectacular. Ooh, I like it already. That's a beautiful bag. It has a black tasseled zipper pull. Normally, the zipper pull has Ipsy on it. This one does not. It's just a cute little tasseled zipper pull. And beautiful, beautiful gold sequin sequins on the front. Let's look at the back. Oh, in the black. The back is black vinyl with Ipsy in gold down here at the bottom. Kind of blends into the background. Let's see here. The zipper is a gold color also. Nice metal zipper there. Oh, that's just, that's beautiful. That's the prettiest bag yet. Out of all the bags I received, I think this is my favorite. <laughs> it's very, very pretty. All right. Let's open it up and see what's in here. I'm going to turn it this way so I can open it. Ooh, the inside is, um, it looks red, but it's actually like a hot pink color. Now first, I always like to look at the card. So sometimes it's like a little uh, postcard, and usually it's just a little square card like this. Nice and thick. And it says, be merry, be bright, be bold, be you. Check inside for our holiday gift to you, a bonus sixth glam bag product. So we do have six things in here. And let's see what it says on the back. It's the most wonderful time of the year, and we've got all the festive feels. From dressing up in our sparkliest looks to getting cozy by the fire with our faves. There's so much to love about the holiday season. So make your list and check it twice. Here's a few ways to help you with have a gorge, God, go, gorgeous month. I will have a gorge month because there's lots of good candy and stuff, but that's probably not what they meant. Okay, we have two check boxes here. They're, check, they're both checked. Hitting some holiday parties. Use your glam bag picks to try out a new look. From tips on how to get killer smoky eyes to step-by-steps steps for nailing your at-home mani, our site and app are always here to help you get party ready. Get gifting with Ipsy Shopper. Check out ipsy.com slash shop for daily deals like one-of-a-kind holiday sets and an extra 10% off all month long. Tis the season to let the real you shine through. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Cool. I still don't like the way they shorten words. That, that's a pet peeve of mine. I don't like when people do that. <laughs> Just say the word. It's not going to wear you out. You're not that busy. So yeah, the, the inside is a really pretty, um, it's, it's hot pink. It's like a Barbie pink. Although on my screen right now, it doesn't look like it. This thing is just trying to come out. Let's see what it is. Boy, wow, this is big. This thing is massive. What is it? Oh, it is uh, Lip Brulee High Shine Lip Cream from the Beauty Crop. The Beauty Crop. I have never heard of that. Not for resale. Um, I don't, it does, I don't know what color it is. I guess you could just kind of see from the packaging. It has plastic on it. And I don't know how to get it off. Some 
sort of implement. But that's a full size, like that's not even a sample, that's like a full size thing. Very pretty, it's like a dark pink color. Kind of similar, well a little darker than the inside of the bag there. So that is from the Beauty Crop. I've never heard of that. Actually, I'm not, not familiar with the beauty crop, but that's nice to get a full-size uh, lip thing in there, lip gloss. That's nice. I don't know if that's my bonus or not. What is this little thing? It's adorable. This is R and Company Park Avenue Blowout Balm. I don't really have enough hair to blow out. I used to. I used to have hair down to my waist a long time ago. But it was so long. I mean, it was it just, you know, it was just kind of wavy a little bit. Work through damp hair and blow dry to your heart's content. Hmm. I don't normally blow dry my hair. I just let it dry on its own. I may have to try it just to see what it does. Take a look at it here. It's just a Nice and, oh, it smells wonderful. It's like a, a perfumey smell. It feels like a lotion. It's kind of lotiony, a little sticky. But it, it smells really good. <laughs> it smells like a really nice um, shampoo or something. So that is from R and Company Park Avenue, and it is Blowout Balm, 15 milliliter size. One half of a fluid ounce in this cute little tube. But yeah, I think I'm going to try that. Um, I'll just see what it does to my hair. The next item we have is from Farah F. A. R. A. H. It's a nice brush. Isn't that nice? I like the handle. That's really cool. I'm gonna look at it. Let's see if I can remove it from the plastic. I guess you could say it's kind of ergonomic. Like you can see that it has indentations here, here, and here. So you have three indentations. Might make it a little easier. Yeah, it makes it easier to hold it like this, almost like a pencil. Oh, it's very soft. Very, very soft. Very nice brush. So you could use that for um, maybe eyeshadow or contouring or whatever you want. I think that would be a good uh, multi-purpose brush. Use that for all kinds of stuff. I also like to keep a little brush like this handy. Um, every now and then when I put on eyeshadow, a few little pieces, little crumbs of the eyeshadow will land just below my, uh, my lower lashes. And I like to use a little brush to kind of, you know, sweep it, sweep it off. You don't want to take your finger and try to do it like that because then it just sort of leaves lines on your face, you know, like the the pieces of eyeshadow will just leave marks on your face. Sometimes you can gently lift it off with a brush. So, that would be good for that too. Now let's see. Ooh, this is from Juice Beauty, the organic solution. We have Stem Cellular 2-in-1 Cleanser. Um, I know the Shamani products I use, um, they use stem cell technology and some of that stuff. Let's see what this cleanser looks like. Oh, it has a little, little seal on it. I really like the Clinique face cleanser. I've been using it for a while now. I really like it. Just the plain, it's in like a green bottle, I think, a little pump bottle. I bought some at Ulta when they had... I had them 
think they were either 50% off or 40% off or something. I bought a couple. Now this is a 15 milliliter little tube, just like the uh, blowout balm. Let's see what this cleanser looks like. It's kind of clear. It's like a gel. Um, ooh, that's an interesting smell. It smells like lemons. Kind of smells like lemons. It's not a bad smell. I think too, I'm kind of put it on the same hand as this, and I think I'm kind of mixing it a little bit. <laughs> but it smells okay. I mean, it's not going to stay on your face. You are um, simply using it to clean your face. So it's not like the blowout balm, which will stay in your hair after you're done. Juice Beauty. I think we've gotten some of, we've had some of their products in here before. Um, let's see, a gentle and conditioning formula that deeply cleanses. This writing is tiny. <laughs> Removes makeup and helps tone to leave skin hydrated and looking soft and soft. I'll definitely try this. I'll try it tonight when I go to move my makeup. I'll, um, I'll try that one and see if I like it. I'm running low on the Clinique stuff, and if I like this, maybe the next thing I buy will be some of this from Juice Beauty. The good thing about Ipsy that I found is when I do find a product that I really like, um, you can get it a little cheaper if you buy it directly from them. They don't pay me to say any of this. I'm just... I subscribe to their glam bags, and I like to try the products. And I have ordered um, a couple things from them that I've got in the bag that I liked. Let's see. Ooh, is this? Oh, this is from Sugar. A little box. Very pretty. I like it. Um, it's black, mostly matte, except for the circle. That's shiny. And an S cut out where you can see the purple thing underneath. So it's, it is a contour, contour de force mini bronzer. The color is O2 Woody Wonder. That's what it says. Woody Wonder. Let's see. It's an interesting little container there, isn't it? Has a has a little magnet in it. And here is a little plastic piece that covers the bronzer. That's not a bad color. See, I could use I could use the brush for the the bronzer. And it has this little plastic film that covers it. Like that. Let's see. I'll go put some on my finger. I've already got two other things on it. Why not? You can kind of see the color a little bit. I'm not one to really use a lot of bronzer except maybe in the summertime. And honestly, I already have three or four different bronzers at my disposal. I This one may go to cosmetics for a cause. I actually have a package ready to send to them, and I may I may put this in there to go with it. It's a it's a Florida nonprofit corporation that or a nonprofit organization that um, supplies cosmetics and other beauty and hygiene needs to to women in different circumstances, like uh, shelters and things like that. So. Um, I send them uh, stuff on a regular basis. <laughs> so this is a nice little container. I like it. It is a very nice bronzer. It looks like a very pretty color. Um, I think it would work for a lot of people. So that is um, that's from Sugar. So so far we've looked at one, two, three, four, five. So we have one more. Oh, it's another nail polish. This is Trust Fun Beauty. Wouldn't it be funny if it's the same one? 
you know, I got one in my, the, um, the gold glam box that I bought. Um, but it's not, this one is called I Kaled It. So it must be from, it's Harvest's probably. K-A-L-E-D. It's so interesting that their nail polish comes in a box. I've never seen nail polish come in a box before. It's very cool. It's a 15 milliliter container. Let's see what kale. I'm guessing it's a green color. Maybe not. I can never open these things. I always end up destroying the box somehow. See the way the thing is made, it doesn't it doesn't want to come out. So I have to kind of do a Hulk smash on it and get vicious with it. Let's see. It's so messy. Oh, it is green. Oh my goodness. Boy, that's, that's dark. It is definitely green. You know what? I'm keeping this. I have a dark green nail polish and I don't really like it. This one here, we'll use the box. This one might be better. Let's take a look. Hey, that's um pretty decent coverage for one coat. I know doing painting it on a box isn't the same as painting it on your nail, but that's a pretty color. That's um that's alright. I like that. And um, I can make it even shinier by adding my Revlon Quick Dry Top Coat over that. Or I could do a finishing veil with a little bit of sparkle to it. That would look nice too. Or um, if I could find a finishing, a finishing veil that had some greenish glitter in it, that would look really pretty. And then follow it up with a clear top coat. But that's, that's just one coat and that's pretty good coverage I think for one coat. I haven't tried the other one yet. I can't remember the name of the color, but it was kind of burgundy. I have not tried it. I had on silver glittery nail polish, and today I changed it over to gold. Um, I just, I wanted to stay with the sparkly look, but I decided to go with gold instead of silver. It's not a drastic change, but I'm kind of glad I did it now because it matches my glam bag perfectly. So that worked out really well. So again, this is from Trust Fund Beauty, which I've never seen this in any of the stores I go to. Of course, I only really ever go to Walmart and Goodwill and Aldi, so what do I know? But Trust Fund Beauty, I kaled it. K-A-L-E-D. Very pretty. I think we got a very nice collection of things this month with our blowout balm. Lip Brulee, Lip Shine, our nice little brush with the ergonomic handle, very nice, and it's so soft, the bristles are so soft, and the Joy of Juice Beauty Stem Cellular 2-in-1 Cleanser, the Sugar Bronzer, and Trust Fund Beauty Nail Polish. In dark green, I kaled it. It's very interesting. I like their names. And of course, as always, we have the beautiful glam bag. This one is definitely what I would call a glam bag, more so than any of the other ones I've seen yet. Very, very beautiful bag. And then on the back, we have this matte textured vinyl. With Ipsy in gold down here at the bottom. That's just so beautiful. I love that. And the little the tassel on the zipper pull. Just perfect. This right here. Thank you so much for coming to look at these things with me. Hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. And 
I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again really soon.